we will start with reading a file. It is on my desktop and the file is called cosmetics.csv. I'm going to use col column classes as factor because for association rules I need all the variables to be factors. So we run this. So you can see this file has 1000 observations. Each of the rows indicate a transaction and there are 14 columns which indicate the items that were either purchased or not purchased. So yes means purchased, no means not purchased. So we want to analyze this data and see what items are bought together and we do that by doing association rule analysis. So I'm going to use this library A rules, so A for association. So let's run this and then I'm going to create some rules by running this line here. You'll notice that it has 68,880 elements. So that many rules were generated by running this line. So what it does is it uses the default values. For example, for confidence, it has used a value of 0.8. For support, it has used a value of 0.1. Minimum length means what is the minimum number of items in each rule. So that is one. At least one item should be there and maximum 10 items should be there. If you further want to get a summary of these rules, you can run summary rules. So it tells you that there were three rules which had only one item. Similarly, there were 18,066 rules that had seven items. There were 972 rules with 10 items. So it gives you rule length distribution. It also gives you summary of the quality measures. So for example, default for support was 10%. So that's the minimum. But in these 68,000 plus rules, the support values have gone up to as high as 0.958. And confidence value default was 0.8. It has gone up to 1 and the lift varies from 0.87 to 3.57. So this gives you a quick summary of the quality measures in those rules. But these are too many rules, so we need to reduce it to smaller number. So what we can do is, apart from running the rules, we can also specify parameter. We are saying here in this line that minimum length should be two and maximum three. So we are restricting these rules to just two and three. And further, we are saying that the support value should be minimum 0.7. Originally, minimum was only 10%. So we are increasing that to 70%. It will cut down on the rules drastically. Let's run this. So you see now we have 15 rules. If you want to inspect the rules, you can simply run inspect rules. So by running inspect rules, you see all 15 rules are listed here one by one. It gives you LHS values, left hand side, which is the if part, and right hand side, which is the then part. And then you also have support, confidence, and lift. The only problem is all the rules you see here have no values. So these rules are not really useful because first rule says customer who did not buy nail polish also did not buy brushes. So that's not really very useful rule. So we want yes to appear and not no. We are more interested in what customers are purchasing and not in what customers are not purchasing. To find interesting rules, what I have done here is, apart from the parameters, minimum length and maximum length, we need to play with support confidence values to come out with the rules that we need. So now I am using a confidence minimum value of 70%. and then. In the appearance, I'm specifying that my right hand side has to be foundation equals yes. Now why foundation? So if you do a summary of my data, just to see what customers are buying, you'll notice that foundation is the number one items in terms of yes values. 536 transactions out of 1000 contain foundation as yes, which means, and this is the most popular item. Whereas if you look at eyebrow pencils, so 958 transactions are such where customer did not buy that. Only 42 customers have purchased eyebrow pencils. I want to see such rules where customers are buying 
more of the items and not less of the items. So I'm using foundation as yes. So if we run this, we get 16 rules and you can inspect these 16 rules by running next line. So what it says is whenever a customer purchased lip gloss, they also purchased foundation for which support is 0.356, confidence is 72.6% and lift is 1.355. We can also visualize these rules by using a package called A Rules Viz. If you plot these 16 rules using plot command, you are going to get this picture. So it visually shows you lift, support and confidence values for all 16 rules. If these dots are darker, that means lift value is high. So for these two dots out of 16 rules, you can see support, confidence as well as lift is high. Whereas if you look at these three rules in this corner, so they have low support, low confidence and also the color is light which means lift values are low. And in fact most of these values on the lower side, even those which have slightly higher support, they have low confidence in lift. So it allows you to see all 16 rules at a glance. You can also run the next line which adds a method called grouped. So this is a slightly different presentation of the same thing. You have support represented by size of the bubble. So if the size is bigger that means support values are high and color means lift. Darker color is higher lift and lighter color is lower lift value. So for example this rule here has high support value because the circle is bigger but this rule here has low lift value and low support value. Another line you can see the method is graph. If you run this you get this kind of graph where again you have size with support values and color indicates the lift and lift values here varies from 1.34 to 1.577 and support from 11.6% to 35.6%. So foundation is in the middle and this darker circle means high lift value. So we are in search of interesting rules but you also notice in one we have lip gloss and foundation in 7 also we have lip gloss and foundation because eyeshadow is no. So this information is not really adding any extra value. So we can make these uh, rules more interesting by making sure that we list only those items which were purchased. So for that uh, I'm going to run this where on the right hand side I have listed foundation equals yes but on the left hand side I have listed each and every item in the data set with yes. I'm going to get rules where we get output in terms of items that are purchased and not what items were not purchased. So we run this and we get 22 rules. We are also adding this uh, extra line to make sure that the digits are 3. So after decimal we have only 3 values otherwise we were getting too many values. So we are rounding them to 3. So if you inspect the rules now you see that all yes values appear in the rules. If you look at rule number 7, so lip gloss and foundation, they have a lift value of 1.355, so which is much more attractive. Another thing you may notice here, if you look at the rules carefully, for example, rules 6 and 7 are talking about eyeliner, lip gloss with foundation. 19 is doing the same thing slightly differently. It says customer who bought lip gloss as well as eyeliner also bought foundation. There is some amount of redundancy and in R we can get rid of redundant rules by doing this. So first of all we find and then we we'll later on remove them. So if you run this, This is going to tell you that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 2, 14 of the rules out of 22 are redundant. 
and then we remove them and sort them as per the lift and when you inspect all the remaining rules sorted as per the lift this is what you get you get eight rules and the first one has the highest lift value where whenever a lip gloss was bought foundation was bought so you can see that uh, while doing association rule analysis when you run all the rules there is no guarantee that you will find useful and interesting rules in the first run you have to do a lot of iterations to really arrive at the rules that are really interesting and useful.